Hey everyone, this is Awesome Work by Shi from Zen Ideas. I want to talk about more about the CRM for the nonprofit sector. So lots of my clients are still using a spreadsheet and then um, uh, to manage a thousands client list. Um, but I'd like to uh, help you to understand how you can use a CRM, create some workflow that so that you don't really have to do lots of work. So uh, I'll give you an example today. Uh, I will show you uh, how to uh, create a custom client intake form and workflow. All right, so I'm gonna be talking about how to add a custom field in the custom profile data and how to create an intake form. So this will be really handy that um, if your organization like to promote membership, you know, become a member or become a sponsor and become a supporter or become a partner. And then you can create a form, intake form, and then you can embed the form onto your WordPress site. All right, so let me just show it to you how this works. So this is the WordPress uh, kind of website uh, my client is kind of proposing here. So they have a become a partner section has uh, embedded like uh, electronic form, right? So they have a first name, last name and email, and then I uh, hit the submit button here. So on the left -hand side is uh, the CRM system that uh, we use the Fluent CRM. So this is WordPress. It's very, very affordable. And on the right hand side is um, is an intake form. Now the problem is that so we have this basic information and address. Now we have to add this organization name and job title, right? And the message here, right? Now organization job title is not here. So I have already created the organization field. Now we need to add a job title because it's not here, but we need to collect that information, all right? And to do that, go to settings here. And we have this uh, custom contact field, click that. And then, so you can add a field, okay? So this is really cool. Now, um, I'm gonna be using this single line text for job title, but you can do multi-line uh, numbers and the select the choice. So this is gonna be just the drop down, and that the user can pick uh, one choice. And there's multiple select choice too, and a radio button and checkbox and date. You know, this is probably good if you want to collect the information, something that when uh, your client became a member. And if you're doing some events, you know, you can do date and time here. Now, today I'm going to just use simple uh, single line text. And the label is going to be job title. Now the slug is optional. Okay. And it just hit update. Okay, so it's added. Now let's go back to contact here. And let's pick one. So now that job title, uh, custom field is already created. Okay, so you can put, um, you know, whatever you need, like CEO, and then save up to update. So it's very simple. Now, next step is, let me show you how to create an intake form. Okay, so I'm gonna use this uh, become our uh, partner so this is I use this as an example so let's start it so let's uh, go back to WordPress dashboard and then so we have it's got a fluent form is uh, installed here all right so let me just quick show that to you uh, go to um, uh, plugins here and then here we have the fluent form here okay uh, so you need so this is free uh, free plugin, by the way. Okay, so let's go back to uh, go to forms. And then, so let's add a new form here. Uh, let's go to, um, you know, you can you can create it from scratch. Well, let's choose a template here. So actually, this is probably, I can use this, just a, a basic contact form to start with. And I can just uh, customize this. All right, so it already have uh, first name, last name, email, and then the, this have subject code. So they don't have subject and that has a message here. So hmm, actually that like subject is kind of good idea. I think I'm gonna just leave that uh, here. Uh, you know what, let's match that just to simplify that. I'm gonna just delete this, yes. Now, so we need to add organization and title. Now before that, I'm gonna just, uh, before I forget, um, put the title for this form uh, or label for this form. 
Um, okay, something like that. All right, so I'm gonna add organization and job title. Now, so there are uh, lots of uh, general fields here. Okay, so this is plenty. Now, so I'm gonna just uh, grab a uh, simple text. I think this is what I want. I can just grab and drag and drop. Okay, so, and the label is going to be um, organization. Now, actually, so this has a two columns here. So I'm gonna make it two columns. Uh, so we have container here. So we'll go to input field and then uh, container. So I'm going to bring uh, two columns container here. Now I wonder if I can just uh, put this in. Oh, okay. It works. All right. So I'm going to just simply duplicate that. You can go here and then, you know, create that too. Um, you know, just I, I, I like doing this way. Just duplicate and put that. And then change the label to um, job title, right? And then so submit the form. Okay, I think this is good. Now next, go to settings and integration. Oh, guess I have to hit the save first. All right, and then settings and integration. Um, yeah, let's just uh, go through here. Uh, confirmation settings. Uh, this is a confirmation type. If somebody uh, hit the submission button and then uh, stay on the same page and they show this thank you um, for, for your message kind of submission. And uh, this is where you can customize the message. Okay, so it's kind of pop up. I think this is going to pop up message here. Uh, I'll show that to you at the end. And uh, you can uh, also create uh, some like a thank you page. Uh, within your WordPress site and then click here and you can write uh, redirect to user to the thank you page Okay, and or you can pick a, a custom URL here. Okay, so I'm going to just use this just then on the same page The next one is email notifications. Okay, so this is where you can set up uh, uh, automated email notifications so I already set up uh, some um, uh, notification to uh, to add me okay so uh, now let click that. So admin notification uh, sent to WP admin email. Uh, so I'm gonna just uh, use my email address here. All right. So new form submission. I mean you can just say new uh, So you can just differentiate that. All right, and here, so you can customize that um, message here. All right. Um, yeah, actually, this is kind of, you know, you got uh, this form submitted at blah, blah, blah. And then uh, you can just, you know, customize that um, here, just the, the, add a short code. And you can uh, put here, like first name, and then uh, put the space here. And the last name, um, you know, one to become a partner. Yeah. So you can add the uh, different custom tags too. And then save notification. Now, next one is I like to create uh, another notification that goes out to who submit the form. All right, so I'm gonna just, uh, you know, um, uh, thank you for um, you know becoming a partner. Now, so send to uh, a people who submitted the form. So uh, instead of just uh, putting custom email here, select the field, and then you have to pick email. Okay, and you can just uh, create that. You know, thank you for your interest. And you can type a thank you message here. Yeah, something like this, you know, thank you for your interest in becoming our partner. So the next step is to schedule a meeting with us. Uh, please, uh, please use uh, our calendar link below, uh, something like that. All right, so and then you can just uh, here, like you gotta insert a link here, right? All right, so let's uh, save a notification here. 
Now the next step is uh, configure integrations. All right, so let's uh, go to add a new integration. And here, so we need to pick a Fluent CRM integration, okay? And here, so let's add the, uh, the field name, uh, which is uh, maybe, so something like that. And then the Fluent CRM list. So we need to create a list and then we need the segment uh, the list here. So let's go to our CRM. So make sure you're gonna hit the save here. And then go to um, uh, Flint CRM and here you see the list. So I have already created a list. So if you haven't, uh, just hit create and then counter partners, okay? And you can hit create, okay? So I already done it here. So let's go back to integration, go to form, and uh, action, uh, edit integrations. So here, so you're gonna pick a list, uh, partners in this case, and we're gonna map the field here, okay? So email address is gonna be email, mm -hmm. and the first name is going to be, uh, pick a first name, and the last name is gonna be uh, last name, and their full name is gonna be uh, name here. Okay, so this is a custom value here, a custom label. Uh, we have organization name, so your organization, so that will be, uh, what is that? Oh, uh, okay, right here, organization. Okay, so next one is uh, job title. It's gonna be, yeah, right here, okay. And then same thing, so you gotta match or map uh, the field. And job title is right here, okay? And uh, here's the extra settings. So if you need to uh, uh, segment uh, more details, so you can add tags. Uh, I'm gonna skip this for this demo. And the next one is a skip if contact already existed in the CRM. Yeah, so I would like to do that because I don't wanna create the duplications and the skip name and update if existing contact have all the data, okay? So um, I think I like that too. And then enable double opt-in, so that's the option as well. And then enable force, subscribe if contact is not in the subscribed status. So this is only existing contact only, okay? And then um, again, so I'm gonna, then I'm gonna hit the save feed. All right, so this should work now. So next one is, uh, let me show you how to embed the form to your WordPress site. Okay. All right, so let's create a page here. This is why it's so easy to do because you can, you don't have to get out of a CRM system and then go to your WordPress website because everything's in one place. And let's go to page and hit add a new page. And uh, so I'm gonna just to use, uh, you know, become a partner page. And then, now you can add pictures and you can add columns, so you, you know, you can design whatever you like, you know, you can use Elementor if you want to, uh, but I just, you know, keep this simple. Okay, so this is a page and I hit publish. And then I'll open up a view here, the page here. Of course, there's nothing in it, okay. Now let's, uh, let's go back to um, oh, my dashboard. Then forms. And here, so this is the one, become a partner form. And here you see um, short code. So we need to copy this. Uh, looks like it's already copied it. And then let's go to this page. And you just need to paste that code. It's called a short code. Okay, and hit update. And then let's refresh this page. Yeah, so let's check out the results. I'm gonna just open with a new private window. So I'm not really logging. And then go to um, the become a member page. Okay, so let's fill out the form. The so job title is, um, the organization is, um, so let's say, ABC. Okay, so something like that. And then uh, let's put some uh, text here. Here, so let's uh, submit the form. Okay, so here's a thank you message and a pop-up. Now let's go check um, email. 
uh, just make sure that uh, email notification is working. So let's go to my email software. All right, so email notification seems to be working here. So I have, right, so name. Um, now, this is a thank you email uh, to Fred. So this is a send out to people who submit it. So remember this, so thank you for your interest in becoming our partner. So the next step is to schedule a meeting with us. So please uh, use our channel link below. So you have to, of course, um, insert a link here. Okay, so it's, it's working. Now, so let's go to um, CRM. So go to CRM here and the contact. All right, so as you see, the Fred name is here and the list, you see the partner, okay. All right, so he's a partner and then uh, email address and name. And if you scroll down, so you see that your organization name and his um, title is here. All right. And if you need to contact him again, so go to email. And then you can email from here if you want to. So you don't really have to use Gmail or, you know, Outlook. So if, uh, let's say, he um, book an appointment with you, for a meeting appointment, you can just say, um, you know, from here you can say, uh, thank you for right. So something like that, of course, you know, this CRM, you can send automation. If, if somebody uh, made an appointment, uh, you don't really have to write this. You can, you can set up an email sequence, then, uh, you can automate it, everything too, but, uh, you know, you get idea. So, uh, oh, hopefully uh, this will help and then, uh, you know, streamline your workflow and then uh, so eliminate, um, you know, lots of, lots of like uh, manual labor. So uh, again, so this uh, WordPress CRM uh, using a Fluent CRM is really affordable. So I uh, hope this helps and I'll see you next time.